Hi, now if you were watching an earlier video in this series on roots of a quadratic equation, I showed you that if we had a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equaling zero, and it had roots alpha and beta, then the sum of the roots alpha plus beta turned out to be equal to minus b over a. And the product of the roots alpha beta turned out to be equal to c divided by a. Now in this video, what I want to do is show you what happens, what the connection is, when we look at the roots of a cubic equation. So if we take a cubic equation, let's say this one here, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals zero. Let's say it has roots alpha, beta, and gamma. That means x would equal alpha, x equal beta, x equal gamma. Then clearly, if I was to factorize this equation, it would have taken on this kind of format, leading to each of these factors equaling zero, meaning x equals alpha, x equals beta, x equals gamma. Now, if I expand the last two brackets here in the usual way, then what I'm going to get is something like this. And then if I expand through with this first bracket, x times all of these terms, followed with minus alpha times all of these terms, then I'm going to get this line here. And if I simplify this, group up the terms and factorize, I'll get a line like this. Now if I label this equation one say, and I divide through by a, then what we're going to get is this equation here. x cubed plus b over a times x squared plus c over a times x plus d over a equals zero. Now suppose I label this equation here two and this one equation three. Now what I can do now between these two equations is compare the coefficients. So if we compare the coefficients between equations two and three then, let's say we look at comparing the x squared coefficients. You can see that the sum of the roots, alpha plus beta plus gamma, must be equivalent to minus b over a. Notice we've got a negative here and a plus here, so I've just switched across the two signs. And I've written this for short as the sum of the roots as sigma alpha. That would be alpha plus beta plus gamma if I was to expand it out. Now if we look at the coefficients of x, you'll notice that I've got here the sum of the products of pairs of roots. And that must be equivalent to c over a. So if we write that in, we've got this notation here, sigma of alpha beta, which is basically the sum of the pairs of the roots, and it's going to be equal to c over a. And if we compare now the constant on the end here, then you can see that alpha beta gamma must be equal to negative d over a. So if we write that in, that's what we've got. Now in the next video, what I want to do is extend this work further. We're going to take these results and we're going to look at cubic equations, which have roots alpha, beta and gamma, and form other cubic equations based on these roots. So do take a look at that if you want to extend this work. Okay, thanks for listening and uh, hopefully I'll See you in the next video.